My name is Paul Silva. When I first came here it was in 1981. I started working, as I say, as a part-time salesman. I basically spent a little more than half of my life in this business with this company, and I really enjoyed the sales part of it very, very much. I had no idea that I actually had it in me that I could sell stuff, and uh, it turned out that it worked out okay. And then I graduated to more and more responsibility. When you are working in a small company, you end up doing a lot of things because many, many hats need to be worn, and I put most of them on. When I first started with Ralph, and he was giving me the um, um, how to sell, he took me out in one commercial account, and he took me out in one residential account. And my first one I remember was a school teacher on O'Callaghan Way in Lynn, and. After I, I went to her house and I remember knocking on her door and she came to the door and she said, I said, uh, hi, my name is Paul Silver from Wayne Lamb and I really don't know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> I'm going to need your help to, to, to figure out what it is you need. I mean, I have a general knowledge. She says, come on in. So I, so I did sell her a system as it turned out. Apparently people love honesty, which is one of the things I, I like myself. And uh, as it turned out, she's still a customer. That's 36 years ago and she's already had an upgrade upgrade done to her system because the one I, we put in was really very primitive compared to what it is now. So that was, that was a, a pretty significant memory. Well, the average day for me, I come in at seven o'clock and I basically uh, check my emails because I get dozens and dozens of them. I have to go through them. I take care of a national account called Aldo Shoe and basically I review the events that took place last night for Aldo Shoe, whether they're alarms or trouble conditions that pop up with the, with the stores that are reported to the central station. And once I have gone through that list, I then make assignments for people who might need to go out there uh, and I, I try to identify exactly what they need to do. Then it goes to Sean, the uh, installation manager, and he arranges for parts to go out and for the um, the service techs to be notified to go. Um, apart from that, uh, this dealer, we have about 32, 33 active dealers in the monitoring center and uh, he, they come in for advice on what equipment to use, they have questions about things that don't go right and uh, basically a review, uh, no test conditions, meaning that panels that are supposed to report in haven't done so. On a limited basis, I do more of an overview and recommendate, make re recommendations for things that I think need to be done in order to solve those no test conditions. That's pretty much what I do in the morning. The day-to-day -day operations have changed because there are, there are more people to wear those hats. So things don't pile up on one person as they used to. Uh, now, at the time, uh, I was doing inventory um, and scheduling for installation and uh, hovering over service um, work, we had a, we had a field service guy, but in the in the, the office work needed some backup, so I was there for that. And I was also the, the top salesman for the company at the time. So uh, now we have an excellent sales manager. We have very good salespeople. So I never even get involved in that anymore. So that's a big thing off of me. And. Uh, yeah, basically that's all there is to it. It's just there are more people to handle all the responsibilities and it's spread out very well and they're handling it very well. And we're blessed with very good managers right now, excellent managers, the best since I've been here. And for that I'm grateful. It's actually prolonged my stay. I was meant to retire five years ago, but I've hung in there because of the newer managers, including the general manager and in particular um, the installation manager and service manager. So they've done a wonderful job for us. The level of competence allows me to, to slide away a little bit. I'm going to be no longer a full-time employee at Wayne Lamb. I'm only going to be a part-time employee. I won't be spending much time here and I'll be working mostly from my house or my, you know, my office at home. And I do many of the same things. I do review the emails I generally do it more often there, like I'll do it at 11 o'clock at night, I'll look at the Aldos because they're an important national account of ours and we've had them for quite a while, well over 20 years and uh, we've done very well with them and they're very happy with us so I want to keep it that way and once they, and the handoff on that isn't completed yet and when it is then I will be able to relax a little bit more. 
I have plans for when I'm not here anymore, and those are, I'm moving to Florida, I'll be back periodically, and to work out, I haven't had a chance to work out, I do a lot of walking, but I don't get a lot of chance to work out, and uh, I like to sing, and I, I'd like to do more of that, and, and perhaps take even, even take lessons. I have restored cars, I don't do that anymore, I hate crawling on the dashboards now, but I got one more I'm gonna finish up. I have a little program going with a friend down in Florida and our plan is to visit people in our community who are elderly and see if they need anything done and we'll be doing some side work for people. So I'm going to enjoy that I think. What would be important for, for an audience to know about Wayne Alarm Systems would simply be that um, you can trust what we, what we do for you. We will always do our best for you and everyone is proud to work here and that, that's, that's a big part of it. You, you can't keep people in a place, an average of, say we're an average of 10 years right now with all these 70 employees we have, unless they're happy with what they're doing, or satisfied in some way with what they're doing, but certainly satisfied with the work that they do and it's very important work because fire prevention and, and fire, and we put the fire alarms in and uh, our whole thing is about uh, public and personal safety and uh, you know, there's, there's, there are less satisfying things to do in life, and there are very few that are better than what we do.